my experience in one world, it will be sharing, firing. It was very exci exciting and colorful. <laughs> um, I would say colorful. I would say um, friendship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brilliant memories. Uh, an experience uh, full of a surprise. It's uh, connection and connection with uh, uh, local people, connection with uh, mm, volunteers and connection with uh, uh, Europe. There is much more on this world to explore and new perspectives, yes. I don't know uh, one word. Broadening your uh, horizons, I think that's definitely what uh, a program like this can do to, to your mindset, definitely. Μέσα σε μία λέξη. Ε, ελπίδα. Το Unity το επίσημο όνομα είναι Unity iOS. Το iOS όπως ήδη κάποιοι μπορεί να γνωρίζουν σημαίνει Intelligent Operative System. Αλλά για μας σημαίνει επίσης Unity of interest, objectives and standards. Λέγεται Unity iOS, ενότητα δηλαδή, επειδή ενώνει ακριβώς όλες αυτές τις εθελοντικές δραστηριότητες και κατ' επέκταση είναι ενώνει ανθρώπους, ενώνει τους εθελοντές, ενώνει οργανισμούς της Κύπρου, αλλά και οργανισμούς της Κύπρου με οργανισμούς του εξωτερικών, ενώνει τους οργανισμούς και τους εθελοντές με την τοπική κοινότητα, και με άλλα ε, στέλεχη. Το Unity iOS είναι ένα volunteering partnership, μία ομπρέλα προγραμμάτων. Κάτω από αυτήν την ομπρέλα βρίσκονται άλλα πιο μικρά προγράμματα, πιο μικρά projects. Είναι εθελοντικέ δραστηριότητε που κάποιε είναι μικρέ, ένα μήνα, τέσσερι μήνε, άλλε πιο μεγάλε, πέντε, έξι μήνε, που μπορεί να φτάσουν μέχρι και τη διάρκεια των 10 με 12 μηνών. Αυτές οι δραστηριότητες έχουν σαν κύριο θέμα τον εθελοντισμό και περαιτέρω άλλα θέματα όπως ε, η εκπαίδευση, η μη τυπική μάθηση, ε, το project management, αυτό που κάνουμε και εμείς ως οργανισμός, το περιβάλλον, η αηφόρος ανάπτυξη, η στήριξη της τοπικής κοινότητας και η συνεργασία με τους ε, ντόπιου. Μπορούμε κάτω από αυτήν την ομπρέλα να φιλοξενήσουμε ε, εθελοντές ε, από την Ευρώπη, αλλά και πολύ σημαντικό, από την Κύπρο. Γενικά τα προγράμματα που συμπεριλαμβάνονται στο ευρύτερο πρόγραμμα Unity έχουν να προσφέρουν για τους νέους ευκαιρίες συμμετοχής σε σχολεία, ε, σε, κοινότητες, σε απομακρυσμένες κοινότητες της Κύπρου, όπως πρόσφατα προγραμμάτα που είχαμε στην περιοχή Γιαλιάς, Κιβερούντας, Αγίου Ιωάννη Πιτσιλιάς και Λισού. Ε, ταυτόχρονα προσφέρουμε συναναστροφή με τοπακές, με κάτοικους των απομακρυσμένων περιοχών, όπου κάνουμε μια ανταλλαγή δραστηριοτήτων. Βοηθούμε τους δηλαδή στις καθημερινές τους εργασίες, και ήδη ταυτόχρονα τα περίδουν με το να μας μαθαίνουν πρακτικές ε, των περιοχών. Μεγάλο μας πρόγραμμα είναι το πρόγραμμα στα σχολεία, το οποίο προσφέρουμε ε, θελοντική εργασία σε σχολεία της Λευκοσίας και περιφέρειας Λευκοσίας. Το πρόγραμμα αυτό έχει να κάνει με θελοντές οι οποίοι είναι βοηθοί, ε, δασκάλων. Και έχουμε επίσης ε, το πρόγραμμα, προγράμματα τα οποία έχουν να κάνουν με το περιβάλλον, όπω είναι το Turtle Run και Nature Rush Project, που έχουν να κάνουν με τη θάλασσα, με απορρίμματα και γενικότερα με τη βιοπικιλότητα τη Κύπρου. Ε, Βοηθώντα κρατικού οργανισμού, όπω ήταν το τμήμα Ντασόν και το τμήμα Αναλυγία. Επίση, ένα, ένα άλλο πρόγραμμα που έχουμε είναι το Volunteer Expertise, το οποίο είναι ένα πρόγραμμα το οποίο Έχουμε εθελοντέ να δουλεύουν μαζί μα ε, στην πίσω σκηνή, όπου διαδραματίζονται όλη η οργάνωση των προγραμμάτων. 
η οποία είναι η πιο καλή ευκαιρία που δίνεται σε κόσμο που έχετε από το εξωτερικό, είναι κατευθείαν μαθαίνει και μπαίνει στο πετσί ε, του ρόλου που έχει να κάνει με τη διαχειρίση προγραμμάτων. Ε, μαθαίνει για την επιλογή να το μου, διαχείριση ενός προγραμμάτων ε, και ό,τι συμπεριλαμβάνει γενικά ε, ένα ευρωπαϊκό πρόγραμμα που αφορά την νεολαία, όπω είναι το European Solidarity Corps. Και συγκεκριμένα ε, για εμά το Unity IOS. Um, I think it was a lot about talking with other people, um, especially with the other volunteers, doing research. Um, yeah, because I wanted to do some own projects, and um, the best way to add adjust I think is um, yes to do research to talk with other people exchange and yes I think I um, I was here so I, I I did effort to adapt to the project and to um, to um, to have the most of it to leave the most of it and to even if things were not um, always like we expected to to propose idea and to yeah, to adapt to <laughs> to propose a lot of stuff to do the most of it. I think a lot of uh, moments were very important in school, but I remember one moment um, also related to the en environmental project where the whole school and me included, um, um, we cleaned the whole school and we made a huge cleanup in school and I was in charge of giving the trash bags and um, Even the teachers helped, and it was a, a big thing in school. And yes, this was a, an important moment. I liked it. Um, I think the most important moment was for sure when I found my place in the system, and started um, to talk to the teacher, um, implement my own projects. Um, yeah, to feel like that you're really doing something. And um, yes, because I started like two projects: um, one wall painting and one about um, environment, and was. Very nice to feel like okay now you're doing something you're contributing something. I don't have one specific moment, but I really enjoyed um, interactions with the children and the, and the teachers. Um, for example, when I would enter um, a classroom, the children would say, "Oh, Sally's there," and, and this really like warmed my my heart, and I felt really accepted. Um, the most important moment or experience I had volunteering in the school was um, when I had my own English class and I was like I was so excited for it and all the kids were so excited for it too and they were yeah it was just really nice. I think the most important moment is every day when I walk into the first grade and seeing how they appreciate that you are there. Um, I think the most important moment maybe was um, when we arrived in Cyprus for me, to uh, the first impression of Cyprus and we arrived in the association, when we met, we met the other volunteers and uh, the people of the association, all that was important. Uh, my most important moment during my volunteering experience was um, when I arrived at the flat uh, with the other volunteers and we started to know each other and have our own habits. So for me it was very important to know them uh, because we will spend a lot of time together. The most challenging moment was for sure like to find a place in the system because the um, school system is a um, Yeah, it's already fulfilled, so um, to find a place there, like at least for me, it was hard, especially in a new environment, because it's all structured, and um, yes, I think to find a place, my place in the system was, I think, the hardest part. most challenging thing was um, maybe taking initiatives at the school and daring like to go and talk to the teachers to propose ideas or activities um, because I, I didn't know this about myself that sometimes in some situations I could be more um, shy or because I'm a really sociable person and um, this was really challenging like making this first step towards uh, the teachers. Mm, there were uh, many uh, challenges during this uh, experience 
uh, but it's very good uh, opportunity for you to uh, share new ideas, to see new, uh, to have a new point uh, of uh, of view, and uh, mm, to to see and meet uh, people with different culture. A very challenging moment um, was when I did some workshops in the fifth and sixth grade, and there was this language barrier because I don't speak a lot of Greek and the children don't speak a lot of English but it's really nice to see how they try and I also try to speak some Greek so yeah. Uh, the most challenging moment I think it was when I was disappointed and I needed to adjust my uh, expectations uh, because of a lot of stuff, different stuff so yes it was very challenging for me. Ήταν ε, πολύ δύσκολο το να μένεις μαζί με άλλα άτομα, αλλά παράλληλα ήταν και πάρα πολύ ωραίο και πολύ διασκεδιστικό. Well, for me, yeah, it was a bit challenging because uh, you have to live with uh, different people, different background, different age, different um, lifestyle, let's say. So you have to get out of your comfort zone, for sure, and uh, you have to deal with everyday life so um, but with communication and uh, trying to be patient and, uh, and uh, with uh, yeah with these skills you can overcome uh, any kind of problem more or less of course I think it's po it's important to be interested in other one's feelings and um, other one's life and interests and because it can improve your relationship so maybe that's one of my advice for all. living with other volunteers was great because we share the same experience so we know each other we understand each other um i would say that the, the weird thing at the beginning was sharing my room with somebody i didn't know but i got lucky with my flatmate because we really get on very well so, um, yeah, maybe sometimes I just miss some moments of privacy, but like we, we adjusted very well, so in the end it was, it was uh, Yes, it was very challenging to live with the new people that I, I, didn't know, I didn't know them, I didn't know their background, and uh, people from a lot of uh, different countries. So it was challenging because I needed to, to, to know how to respect their individuality, how to respect their culture. And I learned that, I learned how to respect that, and um, yes, that's, that's it. Um, I learned that I like to work with children, um, and I could imagine um, to study something into this direction uh, about education um, after the project. Um, I also learn more to live by myself and to structure my day how I want it to be structured and what my plans are and how to yes just how to live um, also because it's a different country a different language everything um, so in general it just broadened my horizon yes a lot of things um, definitely I think a bit of patience uh, sometimes it's important just uh, to take the time to settle in, find good ideas for the project. So I think the most important thing I um, learned about myself is um, that it's important to go out of your comfort zone, at least for me. Um, yeah, and then when you go out of your comfort zone, you learn so much. And um, in the past, I would have never thought that I would go and work in a primary school. And just to try it just showed me a lot about myself and also about my goals and my plans for the future. Ε, νομίζω ότι μέσα από αυτό το πρόγραμμα ε, έμαθα να ξεπερνάω κάποια ωριά μου. I really discovered that um, I'm really comfortable living abroad and I really want to keep doing this for, for a while. And um, being far away from home, um, the more I do it, the more I feel comfortable with. And this is really something that I enjoy. Um, I have learned about myself that I'm too hard on myself and that is most of the time more easy than I expect it to be and that I'm like really anxious and that I should put myself out there more and yeah. 
I think I'm more confident than before and I think I'm also able to make really, really good friends even abroad. Uh, I learned about myself in this experience that um, I know what is good for me, I know that now, and I'm enough confident to take the decision to reach that now. So. I, during this time in Cyprus, I, I, I know more myself and I know more what I wanted to do in the future. So, and also this project makes me realize that I, I want to work in this field. Especially, I'm curious about uh, you know, formal education and uh, I want to be in uh, an environment, uh, international and uh, international environment and uh, work with young people. It gives me, I don't know, something uh, uh, more. It's huh. nice. It's a hard question. <laughs> um, what I learned about myself is maybe that I'm capable of adjusting to new circumstances, to adjusting to new environments and that I, yeah, that I know now that I can do this. Um, I take some Greek with me, but not too much. Um, and I take some um, some new perspectives with me, um, and yes, some new perspectives. From all of this, um, a nice pocket of sunshine, <laughs> I think definitely. <laughs> um, a lot of just learnings in terms of, as I've said, uh, organization, sense of initiative, but also just opening and wanting to discover much more and um, to take those experiences definitely to go for it. When I when I go back home I will have um, a lot of experiences to tell just also about out of the project all what I've done like to be in a new environment with a lot of new people discovering some complete new place language um, and yes a lot of new people and a lot of new friends and also I think um, a bit more knowledge about what I want in the future, what are my goals. Yeah. Uh, I will take with me a uh, lot of uh, good memories <laughs> and um, new friendships too uh, with the other volunteers and uh, friends from different countries in Europe. So it's very nice. And uh... I would say the people that I met here, I met a lot of friends, new people that I will stay in touch with and um, I don't know, all the memories with them going out and... Um, just more insight into other cultures because here like a lot of cultures collide because there are a lot of people from Africa, from the Near East, from Europe, from Central Europe and there are just a lot of like a bunch of people and um, yeah just nice people I have met as well and I hope to meet again soon and also I learned some Greek which I'm proud of. <laughs> I will definitely take with me new really good friendships, awesome experience and um, brilliant memories. Um, a lot of new um, experiences, a lot of new friendships, a lot of new words maybe, a new language, um, some new recipes, a new culture. Uh, what will I take with me when I will go back home? Um, I think I will take a lot of cheerful memories and a lot of friendships because now I have a lot of friends all around Europe, so it's very nice. Πάρα πολύ ωραίες αναμνήσεις και ανθρώπους με ανθρωπιά. If you want to get to know new people, if you want to get new experience, if you want to get to know other cultures, or just if you want to think about your um, thoughts and make order in your thoughts, in your mind, then I would say definitely yes. Yes, 100%. Um, even though um, it might be, you might be afraid in the beginning maybe because it's a different country, a different language, a different culture and you're not at home and it's a totally new place to discover. 
you will always learn something and you will always find uh, good people and um, it you grow yes definitely I think uh, on all the aspects I think this experience brought me a lot uh, in terms of just discovering the island of Cyprus but also all the education uh, project was going on the people I've met um, the cultures I've experienced I think is definitely a big chance and I couldn't recommend it enough to other people to just uh, experience this and really take the opportunity as a form. Uh, yes, I would suggest this experience because it's very uh, interesting and we know a lot of people for a lot of different backgrounds and countries. So it, it gives you a lot of maturity, I think, and a lot of knowledge of so much things. So I really suggest it. Yes, I would suggest the idea of volunteering in the SC to other people because it was really a great experience uh, um, personally. Um, so yeah, I would suggest that because it opens uh, your mind and uh, you discover another country, another culture. And you get out of your comfort zone, it's uh, very nice. Uh, you go home with uh, like a lot of uh, new, a new vision of different stuff. Yes. Uh, for sure, I would uh, recommend this uh, experience, the ESC uh, program, to uh, every uh, youth. Oh. Yes, definitely. It's a great way to ex experience a new culture, to learn maybe a new language, to get to know new people from all over the world and from Cyprus. Definitely, I would recommend it.